welcome on this video tutorial we are going to discuss about data acquisition system in this tutorial we will discuss about what is data acquisition system what are different functions of data acquisition system what are different components related with data acquisition system next we will discuss about block diagram explanation of data acquisition system what are the necessary blocks or necessary equipments that we will discuss here next we will discuss about different signal conditioning parts their functions in detail next in this tutorial we will discuss about what is single channel data acquisition system what is multi channel data acquisition system next we will discuss about the data logger now entering into the discussion we are starting the topic which is data acquisition system so what is this data acquisition system basically this is a system for data processing system for data processing data conversion data processing data conversion data transmission data transmission next data display and uh, no doubt data storage of data so this is the basic function of data acquisition system why data acquisition system is required or what is data acquisition system this is basically basically a system complete system the different functions of this system is the data processing data conversion data transmission display storage of data data processing means processing the data processing the data means the transfer or change of data from a particular status to another status or any type of mathematical calculations these are basically under the data processing system what is data conversion to convert one type of data to another type of data is normally termed as data conversion data transmission in a plant there is a there is a particular parameter which is to be measured and the signal from the plant to be tra to be transmitted to the uh, control room or somewhere else so data transmission is uh, no doubt required and data transmission is also the part of this data acquisition system next display if we want to display the data uh, for any type of analysis or for recording system the display is no doubt required we uh, will use the different display devices next storage of data why this storage is required for further processing or further analysis so what is data acquisition system basically this is a system for processing the data conversion of data transmission of data display the data and also storing the data this is data acquisition system normally the data might be analog data so this analog data for processing conversion or transmission or display the first thing is this analog data always should be converted to a digital form because nowadays the maximum device are digital device say we want to store the data uh, we want to store it uh, into the computer hard disk uh, to store it into the hard disk no doubt the analog data should be converted to the digital form so all the analog data which will come from the field should be converted to the digital for processing conversion transmission display or storage the data which is stored or which is transmitted might be the raw data raw data means which is coming from the field or might be the process data now what are the different components for the data acquisition system first component no doubt sensor or transducer the data acquisition system data means some data from the field first measured then analysis no doubt so first thing the data should be measured for that case some sensor should be there normally the sensor converts the physical parameter to the electrical signal it converts it converts physical data physical data to electrical signal this is the basic function uh, we may call it sensor or transducer whatever might be the but the basic function is convert the physical data into the electrical signal say for example rtd rtd is on one of the sensor what is the function of this rtd it senses the temperature temperature signal temperature is the physical parameter and this temperature will be converted to to electrical signal or basically change of resistance so rtd is the sensor which senses the temperature and ultimately it gives an output which is the change of resistance 
and ultimately this change of resistance gives an electrical signal. Another sensor say thermocouple. Thermocouple is a sensor. Again, it used to sense the temperature and the output of the thermocouple is millivolt. So these are the different sensors. Uh, say LVDT. Already we are familiar about this. So LVDT is a linear variable differential transducer. The basic parameter is uh, say vibration. This measures vibration. LVDT is used to measure vibration or displacement. And ultimately it gives a particular signal. Normally it is modulated uh, electrical signal. Modulated electrical signal. DP transmitter. The DP transmitter basically measures level or flow or pressure and ultimately it gives the electrical signal. There is a different example uh, I have given here. Say another one rotameter. This is used to measure, this is used to measure flow and it gives normally a displacement, it gives uh, a local indication. Basically it gives local indication. Now what should we need for the remote indication? I will tell again. So these are the different sensors I have given here the example. So for the case of data acquisition, the first thing we need is the sensor. Basically it converts the physical data into any type of electrical signal or change of resistance, whatever it might be. So first part of the data acquisition system is sensor. I will sensor RTD, thermocouple. LVDT basically used for uh, sensing the vibration displacement and ultimately it gives the electrical signal. So differential pressure transmitter. Differential pressure transmitter uh, mainly used uh, for the measurement of level flow pressure. According to the process variable, it ultimately gives the electrical signal. Rotameter is another device uh, which measures the flow and ultimately gives a local indication. So, these are the different examples. There are so many instruments or so many trans uh, sensors or so many transducers uh, we have. Uh, for uh, measuring the different parameters and uh, these are a few examples I have given here. Next component of this data acquisition system is signal conditioner. So, what is the basic function of signal condition? It conditioned the signal. Conditioned means, conditioned means a particular state of signal. A particular state of signal as per the requirement. Means for our system to be displayed or to be recorded or to be controlled I need a part particular type of signal with a particular value. For that case, the signal conditioner is required. Say for the case of RTD, it senses the temperature. Now we need the no doubt the electrical signal. So in this case, the main output of the RTD is basically change of resistance. So this change of resistance should be converted to the electrical signal. So first thing is that some electronic circuit should be there to convert the change of resistance into the electrical signal. Normally we use the Wheatstone bridge. So this Wheatstone disk is the signal conditioner circuit for this uh, RTD. Basic function key genius. Signal conditioner basic function to change the signal in one type of signal to another type of signal as per the requirement for processing the data. Next main component is uh, A to D converter. A to D converter this is one of the most important because in the case of data acquisition system mainly what about the different components or devices we use all are digital form. Digital form means say uh, say for storing the data, we want to use a computer or any other hard devices like this. So those type of device only sense the digital uh, data. They cannot identify or they cannot sense the analog data. So a 2 d converter must be here uh, as a component of the data acquisition system. So this is the main component. Now see on the screen, block diagram figure of data acquisition system. Description of data acquisition system uh, using the block diagram. Now see here, the first thing is the physical parameter. In this bracket here, it is written here, this is physical parameter. For example, it is temperature, flow, level, pressure like this. This is the physical parameter which is to be measured. Now to measure the physical parameter, there are, uh, the, the sensors will be required. These are the sensors. Here it is written as transducer, sensor or transducer, transducer 1, transducer 2, transducer 3, transducer n. There are n number of transducers are here. N, number, n is uh, n is a variable, we may use the 1 transducer, 2 transducer, 3 transducer as per the requirement of the process variable. Process variable jamun hobe, shayi unja amra sensor by transducer use kutu bari. Sensor by transducer is the main part, main component for this data acquisition system. Next part is the signal conditioner part. Signal conditioner part is normally required to change one type of signal to another type of signal. 
So these are the transducer which measures the signal or process variable. Next, this should be conditioned uh, through the signal conditioner part. Next, all this should be transmitted to the final devices. So these are the final devices. Say these are the final devices. What are the final devices? Maybe printer, maybe digital display, any type of maybe magnetic tape. Magnetic tape, maybe transmission, maybe uh, processing by the computer or storing by the computer. So these are the uh, say final uh, ultimate devices or uh, final devices. So the signal from this transducer should be transmitted to the final devices. So in between this, what are the other devices or parts uh, we may use? First of all, say n is equal to 100. n is equal to 100. Now this 100 number of uh, signal condition or 100 number of, of transducers are there. Now, now if we want to transmit this this 100 number of signals to the ultimate final devices, then at least 100 number of wires are required. But we can reduce this wire by using the multiplexer. What is the basic function of multiplexer? Multiplexer is the many to one. Many to one means uh, many input with single output. Many input with single output. So the many input means here say 100 number of transistors are used for uh, measuring the different data. Now this 100, 100 number of uh, output from the transistor is the input of this multiplexer. Now this multiplexer will give a single output at a single at a particular time moment. Say at a particular moment signal from the first transistor will come at the output. Next moment signal from the second transistor will come at the output. Next moment signal from the third like this. This multiplexer basically used time division multiplexing or frequency division multiplexing. Basically, almost the device take, almost the sensor take data to ultimately final final output a be, but it a be ki kore ek 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 ta kore. Even ek ek ta kore bolay ki ek ta particular moment ek ta data. Next moment ek ono data. Tar pora moment ek ono data. Tar pora moment ek ono data like this. So in this case, multiplexer is used to reduce the cost of wire. So multiplexer gives the output, and this output could no doubt the analog output. Now we may use the analog output as a recorder, as a display, or some or some other uh, final devices. Now at this moment, almost all devices are digital. Say, our panel meter use korte chai, ba storage device use korte chai, ba recorder use korte chai. Maximum devices are digital devices. So what what we should do? We must convert the analog data into the digital form. So for this case, this A to D converter is required. So after this A to D converter. Ultimate, we may use the different type of uh, final devices. Uh, final devices means for the display, we may use any display device. Uh, for storing, we may use the computer or other devices. Or if we want to transmit this again for some other uses or for some other places, then we may transmit it. So this is the basic block diagram for the case of data acquisition system. So at least data acquisition system, what, what are the main parts? Some no doubt the transducer should be there to measure the parameter. And all the transducers, with all the transducers, there must have the signal conditional part. Then the, this is the output, this is the processed output, and this processed output will ultimately will come to the final devices by the multiplexer and A to D converter. Before this A to D converter, we may use the analog data for different purposes. So this is a generalized block diagram of data acquisition system. Now I am uh, a little bit explaining about the signal conditional part. What are the different types of signal conditioner? Say the basic function is to condition the signal suitable for the data acquisition system. So first function say amplification. Say we are using the thermocouple. It measures the temperature and gives the millivolt output. Now this millivolt is very small amount. Now say a output device we, is, uh, we are using the input of that output device that is final device in voltage form recorder hook by display device hook data to voltage form so this variable should be amplified so for this case we must amplify the signal say filtering filtering is another signal conditioner part why this filtering is used the filtering is used for reducing the noise signal to reduce the noise signal this filtering is used so when we are measuring the uh, measuring a particular parameter from the process she process it may be surrounding vibration pare, surrounding sound pare. So that will create the noise. Means J signal to camera measure corbo. She signal show extra something signal. She can add noise. Normally all chance nake. So those unwanted signal is normally called the noise signal. So for reducing the noise signal, we may use the filter. So filter is another type of signal conditional part. Next say isolation. This isolation means isolate isolate output device from the input device. The final device. Output final 
device say for example computer desktop from input device or uh, transducer so basic function of isolation is uh, to isolate the initial transducer to the uh, final device that is the computer why this isolation is required say that transducer or sensor is used at a particular position which is very much hazardous hazardous means jekhane agun dhorar khub shombhabona ache ba any type of uh, danger condition say transducer is used at that place or the transducer is used at a particular situation where very high voltage is there kono high voltage application is there so that high voltage application might create the high value of the current at that high amount of current that might come to the computer jeta computer theke or uh, the controller system whatever might be the damage kore dite pare so in between this from this transducer to this computer or final device or the display device Uh, something should be there to isolate the transducer to final device normally uh, barrier use kora hoy uh, different type of isolation systems are there kokhono kokhono optocoupler use kora hoy kokhono uh, kokhono intrinsic safety barrier use kora hoy so this is the function of isolation which is no doubt the single condition part another example to avoid the ground problem ground problem avoid korar jonno isolation use kora what is this ground problem how this ground problem creates say transducer at final device giving a particular output and that output should come to the computer as it is now transducer might have the ground and no doubt computer system might have the ground ei dutu ground er bhitor jodi kono voltage thake othoba dutu ground er eki reference noy ba dutu ground same noy ground kake bole ground mane zero not like that amra zero ke ground hishebe consider kori dekha jay je ground is nothing but a reference tole jokhon dutu দুটো গ্রাউন্ড গ্রাউন্ড সিস্টেমের মধ্যে যদি কোনো ডিফারেন্স থাকে দেন নরমালি ইট ইজ কলড দা গ্রাউন্ড প্রবলেম এবং সেই গ্রাউন্ড প্রবলেম থাকলে যে সিগন্যালটা আমি পাঠিয়েছি আলটিমেট ফাইনাল ডিভাইসের কাছে ডিভাইসের কাছে সেই সিগন্যালটা এজ ইট ইজ সেই সিগন্যাল হিসেবে কনসিডার হবে না গিভিং ওয়ান एग्जांपल সে দা ট্রানজিস্টর ইজ গিভিং দা আউটপুট অ্যাজ 5 ভোল্ট নাও দিস 5 ভোল্ট ইজ উইথ রেসপেক্ট টু জিরো নাও এট আউটপুট পজিশন দিস 5 শুড কাম বাট ইন দ্যাট কেস but the reference or ground is not equal to zero it is say one so here in this case at output situation it will be considered as 1 to 4 means it will be considered as 4 voltage but the input was 5 voltage means how this is 5 with respect to zero but in this case this is 5 with respect to one so actually this is 4 voltage so in this case the ground was zero in this case the ground was one so if there is any difference between this ground that there will create a particular loop or considering a particular loop at this will create the error voltage so this uh, to avoid this ground problem also this isolation is required next say excitation excitation is the part of signal conditioner so for what the excitation is required say this rtd rtd gives the change of resistance so ultimately if we want to get the electrical signal the no doubt the excitation is required means some some supply voltage that might be the voltage or might be current source or voltage source should be attached with the system to get the electrical signal so excitation uh, must be there next again on example i am giving say say for the case of strain gauge so strain gauge is another uh, another sensor normally uh, this is used to measure the pressure uh, or force like this So again, this is strain gauge. Without any excitation, this gives no output, no electrical signal. So in this case also, some excitation is required. Next, say linearization. Say for the case of thermocouple. Thermocouple is a non-linear device. So in our instrumentation system, we always expect a linear relationship in between input and output. Means we want to get the output as linear as possible with input. Input respect, jato linear relation power ja input output re, toto our instrumentation system toto the better. this linearization system is basically done by software and hardware also this is a different signal conditioner part again another example we might give that is the impedance matching is also the one of the example of signal conditioner so nick already i told about the multiplexing system uh, the multiplexer must have some clock signal no doubt and a to d converter also needs some clock signal so this is the explanation of uh, generalized uh, clock diagram next Uh, I am coming to single channel and multi channel data gauge system. So for the case of single channel data gauge system, actually what we have already studied, this is multi channel data gauge system. Multi channel means there are uh, more number of channels, not single. 
channel means more number of devices more number of transducer more number of parameter is measured or more number of channel is transmitted so in the case where the parameters are more than one then normally it is called the multi channel data acquisition system so for the case of single channel data acquisition system actor motor parameter for the case of multi channel data acquisition system is another figure i am a little explaining about this also so multi channel data acquisition system this is the same figure uh, this is the different type of analog signal this is the single condition part it is uh, this is the multiplexer ultimately this is a uh, a to d converter part now as i am explaining this so explain a little about this this is the sample and hold circuit why the sample and hold circuit is required this sample and hold circuit is required with the a to d converter sample means it will get a sample and it will hold for few moment সেই হোল্ডের কেন দরকার হয় কারণ অ্যালো টু ডিজিটাল কনভার্সনের জন্য এটা একটা নির্দিষ্ট টাইমের দরকার হয় প্রত্যেক এ টু ডি কনভার্টারের সুতরাং নর্মাল ওয়ে ইস টু কনভার্ট অ্যালো টু ডিজিটাল সিগনাল বাই ইউজিং দ্য স্যাম্পল অ্যান্ড হোল্ড সার্কিট দেন আলটিমেটলি এ বাফার ইজ ইউজড হিয়ার ফর ইম্পিডেন্স ম্যাচিং অ্যান্ড ইট গিভস দ্য সেম আউটপুট মিন্স হোয়াট এভার দ্য ইনপুট ভোল্টেজ দ্য আউটপুট উইল বি সেম অনলি দ্য বাফার হ্যাভ ভেরি হাই ইনপুট ইম্পিডেন্স সো দিস ইজ অ্যাবাউট মাল্টি চ্যানেল ডেটা অ্যাক্সেস সিস্টেম সিঙ্গেল চ্যানেল ডেটা অ্যাক্সেস সিস্টেম next data logger what is data logger data logger is a stand alone system stand alone data acquisition system is normally called the data logger the stand alone data acquisition system means it is a data acquisition system no doubt so data acquisition system means having some hardware having some accessories with some software also why the software is required now rakam je application gulo ajish mane hocche bollam je processing different type of processing uh, linearization this type of uh, extra activity might be done by using different software নরমালি যে সফটওয়্যারগুলো ইউজ করা হয় সেটা যে বেসিক সি ফোরট্রান জাভা পাসকাল ল্যাবভিউ দিস টাইপ অফ সফটওয়্যার নরমালি ইউজড সো ইউজিং দ্যাট সফটওয়্যার অ্যান্ড হার্ডওয়্যার কমপ্লিট ডেটা অ্যাকজেন সিস্টেম থাকে স্ট্যান্ডার্ড মানে হচ্ছে বাই ইউজিং হিজ ওন সফটওয়্যার অ্যান্ড হিজ ওন হার্ডওয়্যার হি ক্যান ডু হিজ স্পেসিফিক ওয়ার্ক তার নিজস্ব ওয়ার্কটাকে সে সঠিকভাবে করতে পারে তাকে নরমালি বলা হয় স্ট্যান্ডার্ড সিস্টেম সো অল দ্য স্ট্যান্ডার্ড ডেটা অ্যাকজেন সিস্টেম আর নরমালি কল দ্য ডেটা লগার সো ডেটা লগার হচ্ছে আলাদা জাস্ট নাম একই জিনিস Uh, the same function so this is all about the data acquisition system